Welcome to this video. My name is Pedro Rodrigues Ribeiro. I'm a psychologist from Portugal. And today I would like to um, give some, uh, some introduction of uh, ADP. ADP stands for Accelerated Experiential uh, Dynamic Psychotherapy. Uh, ADP is an integrative uh, psycho, uh, psychotherapy model that was created by uh, Diana Fosche a couple of years ago. Uh, Diana Fosche is a psychologist and a psychotherapist. Uh, she, wa she initially uh, trained in psychodynamic uh, psychotherapy and psychoanalysis and all those things. Um, she had uh, she was inspired greatly inspired by uh, Winnicott, one of the greatest uh, names in psychoanalysis and you will see how the the work uh, how Winnicott's work influenced uh, IDP uh, she initially started uh, with um, habit dan uh, danvelup uh, who, uh, who was the founder of STDP, short-term dynamic psychotherapy, um, and uh, she she started with uh, Don Valup and all those and all those names like, for example, uh, Lay McLaughlin, Patricia McLaughlin, etc. So you you might uh, realize that. IDP has similarities with STDP and uh, ESTDP, Intensive Short-Term Dynamic Psychotherapy. Uh, however, what uh, Diana Fosha says that uh, ADP uh, differs from the other models is uh, the great emphasis in affect and emotion theories that IDP um, incorporates. Such theories are based in neuroscience and uh, classical emotion theories, like for example, the works of Paul Hackman and, uh, and others. So, the focus of ADP is an uh, effect uh, effect change model or or a model of effective uh, change change where what uh, where the therapist really goes through the 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 unblock the the unblock of the effect the emotion uh, this this kind of uh, unblocking really permits the client or the patient to uh, be into the, um, the affect, the experience of the emotion, the affect, and then create new experiences uh, with resources that wasn't, that wasn't really accessed uh, in that time. So, affect, emotion, uh, theory and emotional and affect change uh, models uh, are in essence to ADP as well as attachment theory. Attachment theory from Bowlby and Vidicott. Uh, ADP is well, uh, it's, uh, it has a, a lot of stances into uh, attachment the about the mother the father the all the triangulations into those relationships uh, please uh, please be be mindful that ADP is a model of a dynamic and psychoanalytic inspiration so from from the ADP standpoint psychopathol psychopathology uh, cre uh, the creation of, psycho uh, of psychopathology, please excuse me, is uh, developed from uh, f 
a fall, a flaw, a flaw in emotional regulation or emotional uh, management. So emotion is one of the cornerstones in, in, the, in the upbringing of psychopathology. So uh, again, the ADP therapists um, goes into the emotional regulation, the, if, the affect regulation and the relationships that uh, are um, established from uh, a perspective of uh, correct, corrective experience, not only, not only emotional, but also relation, uh, also from a relationship standpoint or relation standpoint. As, uh, for, as, as other models, ADP uh, focus on um, a triangle, uh, which in one ver in one point you have the defenses, uh, and the defenses are from the classical defense mechanisms from uh, psychoanalysis and psychodynamic psychotherapy, which was uh, established by Freud and also Anna Freud. From another point, you have the red signal affects, which is the which which are the 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 affects that are really um, signaled not only from the narrative but also from the bodily experience. For example, if if the patient has anxiety. The red signal, the red signals, uh, the red signal effects might be the um, the emotion or or the anxious effect that the per, that the client has or the patient has, but also the the nuclear affective experiences that uh, that the patient has from the early developmental uh, relationships and also the attachment uh, relationships. Uh, so how does the ADP therapist uh, intervene? Uh, the ADP therapist mainly utilizes three kinds of strategies. In one hand, you have relational strategies where the objective is to repair the, the relationship, relationship with the inner, um, the inner parents or the inner intervenience or uh, real relationships. Uh, it, again, it goes to the attachment, uh, the attachment uh, view. Other strategies include uh, restart, uh, restructure strategies. Uh, you can also uh, you can also see those kind of strategies in other models, namely cognitive therapy when you have, for example, uh, restructuring strategies for, uh, like cognitive restructuring or something like that. And lastly, you have uh, affect experiential strategies and in, in these kind of strategies uh, the therapists um, relate to the, the to the patient or the client with experiential tasks with the objective to regulate uh, and and develop some some of the effects of or some of the emotions you can see also those kinds of inspirations from in, in other models like for example um, emotional emotion emotion focused focused therapy or schema therapy where the therapists utilize experiential uh, approaches to um, to the to psychotherapy intervention Lastly, I, I will 
I would say that AADP is an evidence-based model. Um, AADP has a well robust corp, uh, corp of um, publications and articles and research. And recently um, there was a, a, a late uh, a study that was concluded uh, which validates the efficacy of ADP in different cultures and and the, the main reason is that ADP is one of the most popular uh, psychotherapy models um, in actuality you have for example in Portugal uh, Italy uh, Japan uh, United States it uh, well it's all around the world since Diana Fosha is a, a, a really big influential figure in the psychotherapy world. As for reading recommendations, I will uh, link or I will uh, give you the reference of the, um, uh, the manual for ADP. It's a, it's a great book. It's, uh, I don't know if he has, well, if it was written 10 years ago, something like that. Well, you have other books in, in, about ADP, but this book, it was the, the first one. And uh, Diana Fosh uh, recently told that she is thinking about uh, updating that manual since ADP has, has grown since uh, what she calls the ADP 2.0 so uh, I will link I will link the reference in the um, in the description of this video and also I would like to suggest to you if you want to to see and to know more about ADP you can't uh, you can buy training videos if you are a psychologist or a psychotherapist in training you have a collection of training videos from the American Psychological Association where you can see Diana Fosha doing uh, ADP in sessions but, and also other therapists, other ADP uh, trained therapists. I would like to thank you for your time. I wish you all are safe and well. And I see you in another video. Bye.